What I'm carving right here is a wooden version of a tool called a Danish dough whisk. Because today, I'm making Swedish cake. It's an old family recipe my great-great-grandmother brought over from Sweden, and a key step is to not overmix the batter. So that's why I went out back, grabbed this old water birch limb, and started making it into a Danish dough whisk. Or if you want to call it by its Danish name, a brudpiska. And yes, I am aware that I'm making a Danish tool for a dessert my family calls Swedish cake, but my Swedish ancestors are from Malmö, which is just a stone's throw away from Denmark, so I hope my Scandinavian friends will let this slide. The idea here is that the big holes in this dough whisk will make it easier for us to thoroughly mix the batter in this recipe without overmixing and incorporating too much air and whatnot. Worked like a charm. After the inspectors approved the final product, into the oven it went. It's best enjoyed when it's completely cooled off, so don't cut into it super warm like I just did, but hey, I couldn't wait to show this to you all. Let's dig in. That's the stuff right there. Ooh. 